Is this one of those episodes where you know who is eating dinner in the background and laughing at his Italian movies? <laughs> he just burst out in crazy laughter. That is so funny. So it's definitely been a minute and not too sure I understand that expression, but I like it. I'm going to use it. Okay, can you explain to me what that actually means? So it's been a long time, but people are saying it's been a minute. Sorry, I bumped the microphone. Explain that to me, please. Actually, I don't know that I can explain it to you because it confuses me just as much as it confuses you, but it doesn't make any difference because it's a euphemism or euphemism or whatever an ism ism is. is, 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 is. <laughs> okay, let me come to the rescue, my dear. Uh, I'm sitting in front of my computer, which you probably are too. And here's what it says. Here is what it says. When and how to use the phrase, it's been a minute. Are you ready? (laughs) Marina just cracked up in the background. Yeah, I'm ready. This is kind of funny. (laughs) You're going to get a kick out of this. Older people probably won't understand this term. It's so, so it's better to express the sentiment in a more standard way. You should only use this phrase when you haven't seen someone or experienced something familiar in a long time. In the, in the example below, Wilhelm and Nicholas are reuniting after spending several years apart. I mean, seriously, everyone. Okay, seriously? Do we really have to have that much of an explanation as to what a saying it's been a minute means when you obviously know it means it's been a minute? Like, it's been way longer than a minute, and that's why you say it's been a minute? Where does it come from? Who said it first? Isn't that like, isn't that like a cool thing? Like, who said it first? Who said that slang first? Who called it that first? Somebody's got to do it first. Yeah, that's like a super good point. Like, who said it first? Who said like, uh, fucking A or bitchin' or groovy or, you know, in uh, French they say chouette, uh, uh, spec for spectacular. Well, I get that one. You could say spec, but that was weird. Growing up, you say spec. Spec? Spec for what? Spe- spectacular? Yeah, exactly. Like, why would somebody think that, who coined the phrase cool? Like, did I really come from the beatnik days? And who can, who coined the phrase beatnik? I kind of see where you're going with this. So, like, who gives a crap who coined the phrase, it's been a minute, just kind of go with it. I think that's what they call being woke. Oh, man. Don't get me going on the wokeism train. Wokeism train. The wokeism train. You can't even put those those words together. Wokeism train, train, Wendy. Wokeism and being woke. Is that actually an ism? You know, this conversation is going a little too deep for my my liking. You know, you're supposed to stay start. uh, I can't even talk. You're supposed to stay lighthearted and funny. Not get serious on me. You're supposed to just be there when I need you. You know, I can hear him laughing in the background, right? I can hear him. What's he watching? Is he watching one of those boom below, boom below, fart though shows? Actually, yeah, more than likely he probably is. <laughs> They're like 1960 Italian movies, but you know what? They're funny. Yeah, I gotta respect you for that. You know, he really enjoys it. So you enjoy it. It's kind of funny to think about. Can you imagine me saying to Marino, it's been a minute? Something definitely would be lost in translation. I know. Seriously. Anyway, it's time to go. All I have to say to you, my dear, my sweet dear, my sweet Wendy, is it's been a pleasure, not just a minute. Well, thank you, my dear. So everyone out there listening, what does it mean to you when there are so many slangs in the world? Do you have one? Can you come up with one? Would you want to be the first person to say something and then it catches on? How do you prove that? You know, where do these sayings come from? Where do they really come from? Although we did Google and we did some research, couldn't really find the essence of it's been a minute. You know, uh, uh, New York Minute is a quick minute. 
uh, something that goes by really quickly. But it's been a minute. I actually like the expression. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this fun little episode to, uh, uh, I don't know, to just talk about something that I'm hearing more and more every you know, these days. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Been a minute. Especially on Clubhouse with professionals. It's been a minute. It's like, when do you use an expression like that? And when do you not? Okay. Well. When you just shut up and, uh, you know, close the show. You're right. I'm going to close the show right now. Come get into the conversation on Clubhouse. I have two clubs. One is 60-something, and that is where we just all get together and we talk about things that are, uh, you know, over 60. (laughs) It's a cool little club, actually. And uh, then I have another one that is Concept to Consumer. And this is uh, a very serious club where people can come and be educated by professionals in everything that it takes from bringing a market from concept to consumer. So join me there at Wendy Cooper on Clubhouse, wendycooper.com. Thanks for listening. Please stay healthy, uh, get vaccinated, and keep listening. See you next time.